Hello everyone, so in today's video we are going to be doing a review of a very very unique product. Um, so with me today I have the Mayono Caster. Okay, now this here serves essentially as um, a do-it-all uh, microphone bundle. So if you're podcasting, uh, if you're creating music, uh, if you're live streaming, maybe you have like a, a gaming channel or maybe something on Instagram, Twitch, any of your streaming platforms. If you want to sound better and maybe also uh, create a, a little bit more fun uh, in your production work, then this is going to be something that you're going to want to look into for several reasons a uh, the price point at which it uh, comes in at and for that price point the amount of accessories that you're getting and thirdly also the effects uh, that this uh, mixing board uh, can sort of do as well so there's so many different features and effects but in order for you to find out in more detail what exactly i mean you're definitely going to have to stick around in order to find out all right, so uh, let's start things off by talking about what comes included inside of this microphone bundle. So uh, I'm gonna start off with the microphone here. So uh, Mayono did include their own microphone. However, um, you don't necessarily have to use the Mayono microphones in order to use the Mayono caster. You can definitely use a, a third party uh, microphone that you prefer if you so decide that another microphone is gonna give you a, a better sound uh, that you desire. But make no mistake, uh, the microphone that does come inside of this particular bundle, uh, it's very, very good. So off of first impressions, you can tell that this microphone here is made out, out of very good materials as uh, it is made out of metal and it is also cold to the touch. So, and as you're hearing me right now, it is actually through this microphone. So as you can tell, the audio quality is also uh, pretty, pretty good. Now, uh, more specifically, this is an XLR large diaphragm condenser microphone. So it is going to be uh, designed to pick up sound in front of the microphone and to try to reject the audio from behind the uh, microphone. And so uh, this is one of the uh, great things about having a condenser microphone that has a cardioid uh, pattern. In addition to the microphone, you're also getting a shock mount here, which is going to allow you to try to control sort of vibrations that might introduce sound into the audio, which is something that you do want to avoid. In addition to that, you are getting this very, very solid table stand. And uh, this table stand also gives you the option of lowering or uh, increasing the, the height of it. So it gives you a little bit better flexibility uh, when it comes to the uh, microphone positioning, which is also very, very important to optimizing uh, the sound quality. In addition to that, uh, the table stand here has a very solid base and it has a lot of weight to it. So it's going to prevent the microphone from tipping over. So I can assure you that once you do sort of experience uh, the whole setup here, you're definitely gonna get an impression that this is something uh, that is of quality. And I'm happy that uh, they didn't in, uh, decide to sort of include a very cheap microphone uh, with the microphone bundle. They gave you something that's very good to use straight out of the box. Uh, in addition to that, they also give you an additional accessory so this is a foam filter that you can uh, place over the top of the microphone and this is going to help you to control uh, plosives or any type of uh, wind noise that might interfere with your audio with this as well you are getting a manual because you don't want to uh, miss out on the various features that this manual caster has to offer as it can do uh, quite a few things and in addition to, to that as well. This diagram essentially breaks down uh, what are the different types of equipment that you can connect and control uh, with this Mayano caster. So uh, to start off, you can connect two microphones at the same time or one microphone and one instrument. Uh, but just keep in mind that if you do want to um, connect a another microphone, if you wanna buy another third party microphone, you can do that, but just make sure that it does not require phantom power in order for it to work. This right here is a large diaphragm microphone uh, that is passive, uh, so it doesn't require 48 volts worth of phantom power to operate. So if you do pick a third party microphone, again, make sure that it does not require phantom power. In addition to that, you can also connect a set of headphones so that you can monitor uh, the audio and whatever is being uh, put into the uh, Mayono caster in terms of sound. You can also connect two smartphones or maybe two tablets, and you're probably wondering why you would want to do that. Well, let's just say you wanted to connect uh, to two different platforms. Let's just say Facebook and Instagram to do your live stream. Well, you'd have to sign in onto two 
devices. So in order to do that, you'd have to connect two of these devices uh, to the Miano caster so that you can do your live stream uh, to both platforms simultaneously. In addition to that, you can also connect a laptop or a PC. So again, whatever platforms you're using for your uh, live streaming for gaming or for your podcast, uh, you can also uh, connect uh, via your computer or your laptop. So as you can tell, uh, Miano has really uh, covered a lot of the angles when it comes to the connectivity. Now, um, all of this is going to be managed uh, by one device. So this is a very, very large task to be able to control the different sound levels for these devices. And uh, in the next part of this video, I'm going to be going over uh, what are the different features uh, that this Miano caster has and how this is going to allow you to sort of uh, improve the overall quality uh, for your live streaming uh, platforms or just for your day to day recording sessions. All right, so uh, let's break down the various features that the Miano caster has. So uh, for starters, if you want to turn on the uh, device, you simply have to just hold on the power button at the back. And then when you hold on it, the front of the um, interface will illuminate, indicating that the device is on. Uh, so uh, with regards to the various different uh, connections that you can have here, you can connect again uh, the inputs and then you have the outputs. So input, you can connect again your two microphones or an instrument, uh, your headphones, and then the output goes out to your uh, streaming uh, devices, whether that's a smartphone or tablet or your computer slash laptop. Uh, so all of that is going to be uh, controlled uh, with the face of the board here. So uh, here, these giant knob here is going to control uh, the microphone levels. So if you wanted to increase the levels or lower it, you would use this large knob here. So as you can tell, I can make it louder or I can make it lower. But when you are adjusting uh, the, the microphone levels, you have to make sure that uh, the indicator here isn't going on to red. Uh, because if it goes on to red, then it means that the sound is peaking. So it's very good that Miono has included uh, this indicator here to give you a tool uh, to be able to monitor uh, the audio. And also, speaking of monitors, you do have a headphone jack, as I did mention, where you can sort of hear uh, what is being recorded so that the audio that is uh, being sent out uh, to your streaming platforms, uh, you can hear how it sounds and that it's in good sounding order um, while, while you are streaming. So uh, very good to have that. And you can address uh, the headphone level simply by using the monitor uh, dial that is here. Okay. Now, even though I'm playing around with this, you, you might not be able to hear it or you won't be able to hear it because uh, it's controlling the uh, audio levels that are in my headphones here. Uh, in addition to that, uh, when it comes to the sound of the microphone, you can adjust it by sort of uh, um, including a little bit more features. So here you have an echo level that's here. So if, I don't know if you wanted to make it sound as if you're in a cave somewhere, maybe this might be useful uh, if you're doing some music recording. So a uh, very nice feature that's there. Uh, with regards to the uh, microphone audio as well, you can control certain things uh, such as the EQ levels. So um, a lot of the times I do adjust the EQ levels um, when I'm done recording. So this is going to be post production work. But in this case, if you're doing a live stream, then you're not going to have the opportunity to sort of uh, tweak those uh, EQ levels. So uh, they have included the ability to adjust your lows, your mids and your highs uh, by using these three knobs so that by the time the signal is sent out uh, to your audience, uh, you're going to be sounding just right. So if I were to just uh, increase the bass a bit here, you'll see that it sounds a little bit more bassy. OK, and then I can lower it. But again, I have to keep an eye on the indicator to make sure that it's not going red, which means that the sound is peaking. Uh, just like uh, the lows, I can also adjust the mid range. So as you can see, it sounds a little bit brighter there. And I can also adjust the highs, which will make it sound a little bit more crisp and clean, just like that. OK, but again, as you're adjusting these levels, it's important to keep in mind uh, to your microphone indicator to make sure that it's not glowing red, which means that your sound is peaking. OK, and to the right of these uh, three knobs here, you are going to see uh, a knob which says record on it. Now, this is going to control the sound levels that's being sent out uh, to your streaming device. So uh, if you can look here, I actually have the sound uh, headed out into Audacity, which is what's recording the audio. And if I were to turn this knob up, you'll see that the sound wave levels will grow bigger. 
all right as i'm speaking you can see that the sound levels are getting bigger and bigger okay so again this is going to control how loud the sound is um, that the audience is hearing uh, so moving a little bit further there's a, a lot of other different things that you can do to control the microphone audio as well and you can essentially activate an auto-tune function so uh, if i wanted to keep um, my voice within a certain keynote let's just say in a b c d i can do that simply by touching this touch sensitive button here and then it'll try to keep my voice within a certain key i can also I can also select uh, different notes, so A, B, C, D, going all the way to uh, A minor. So a pretty uh, neat feature as well, but that's not all you can do with regards to how you sound. So there is also an effect button here. So as you press this, it'll go into different preset sounds. So right now I have the pro sound. So if I were to push it, it'll change color. And then this is sort of the pop EQ level. And this is the MC levels. And this is the original sound. But it doesn't end there. If I want to have a little bit more flexibility with how I sound, uh, you might have noticed that earlier in this video, I was able to change the pitch of my voice. And that was through the pitch button uh, that is on this interface. So if I were to click that here, you will notice that my voice will change into a female voice. Or, can change into a male voice so if i were to be a female it would make me sound more manly and this is the baby voice although it does sound a little bit creepy so let me go on to the next one hello hello all right so i think this is probably a little bit more creepy and it makes me sound as though i'm gonna ask for some ransom money so and then we're back again to the female voice. So as you can tell, uh, this has a lot of playful things uh, that you can do in order to sort of elevate uh, the entertainment levels uh, for your live streaming or for your podcast. And uh, in addition to that as well, you can also do things such as add different sound effects. So <laughs> cheering. Applause. <laughs> Laughter. Okay. And also uh, with these three or sorry, with these four uh, dial pads, you can also record uh, your own sound effects as well. So I would definitely look into the uh, manual that's here as well. If you want to find out exactly how you can do that. And if you have any questions about how I'm doing all of these different uh, sort of tricks, then all of that information is going to be uh, included in the included user manual. So. Uh, with regards to the microphone audio, it doesn't end there. So let's just say you wanted to uh, cancel out some of the background noise because you're in a noisy room. Well, you can easily adjust that by using the denoise function. So maybe you can probably hear some of the fan noise coming from my lighting. Uh, but if I were to put on the denoise function, then you can tell that it really does a good job of canceling out the background noise. So here I'm tapping, but I'm not sure if you can hear that. And then when I turn it off, I think you can probably hear that tapping now. And then back on again. You probably hear a lot less of it. Okay, so very, very nice feature. Um, I uh, do know that a lot of people tend to sort of cancel out that background noise in post production but again if you're doing a live stream then you can't really do that so Mayona really thought ahead and included all of the necessary features that would be uh, the most useful uh, for your live streams or for your podcasting so again very very good features but that's not where it ends there's more so uh, there is also a Bluetooth function here so you can connect wirelessly uh, your phone uh, into uh, the Mayono caster if you want to have some background music and it's as easy as connecting via Bluetooth uh, 
finding a platform so that you can connect your music. So let me just play some copyright free music here. Now, the great thing about all of this is that you can have the music going in the background and then you can also at the same time control your microphone levels. So you can increase those levels, make it higher, you can make your vocal lower, in increase the music. But then also at the same time, you also have an indicator on the other side so that you can monitor the audio to make sure that you're not peaking. So again, very, very nice feature. Now, let's just say that you're playing music, okay, that has some vocals in it. If you're playing music that has vocals in it, you can also do this very, very nice trick too. So let me just find some music that has some words to it so that we can uh, demonstrate this trick here. On the payout, loyal to the soil, but we manifest the way out. Uh, so there's some God lyrics in there. The love in the upcoming. Watch me cancel out cup most of the Ain't lyrics. No fear in the black man. So now you can have some background music and exclude the uh, vocals or most of the vocals from the song. And you can just use it as background music. Nice and soft, you can lower it, increase your microphone levels. Okay, so it really gives you a lot of flexibility. So very, very nice trick. And you can do that simply by clicking on the music only button. You try and get an action roll. I've been official, you ain't beneficial. Now, uh, there's also another cool feature as well. You have the side chain button here, which essentially detects when you're speaking and it'll automatically lower uh, that music to be softer in the background. Let me demonstrate. No, I hear it that you saying, but put your chest in it. I'm the best and it won't answer the nothing less than checking, it. checking I'm one, two. All right. So you can tell that the music in the background automatically lowered. But as soon as I stop speaking, uh, that sound is going to go back up again. Catch a flight to the future. See that? All right. So very, very nice, nice trick here. OK, so let me just turn that side chain off. All right, so um, as you guys can probably tell, there's a lot of different things that you can do with this device. And um, basically, if you're doing podcasting again, if you wanna sort of record music, uh, if you have, um, let's just say, a gaming channel and you're streaming, you wanna stream to different uh, platforms, you can do that all at the same time by using this one device and it's going to make you sound as good as you possibly can and in addition to that it is going to um, I guess give you optimal control uh, over your various devices and the fact that Miona was able to do this at the price point at which this product comes in at I think is very very impressive and honestly I tip my hat off to uh, Mayono. So if you're in the market and you're a little bit confused as to which sort of combination of products you should get, whether you should get the microphone um, or whether you should get like uh, another audio interface to uh, go with it. Well, I think Mayono kind of takes out the uh, guesswork and I think that you would be uh, very, very good uh, with this combination of devices that's here. So as you guys can probably tell, uh, this device really does a lot of great things, has a lot of great features. And I think that if you're sort of new to the uh, market segment and you're looking for a decent microphone and a decent uh, audio interface, that's going to allow you to do a plethora of, of different things, whether that's recording music, um, making a, a podcast, uh, live streaming. And if you want to have a little bit more fun with all of these platforms, then this is something that you can definitely start off with. So uh, with that being said, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And if you have any comments, any questions, don't hesitate to drop them down below as I do enjoy hearing from you, the viewer. Um, and also, if you like this content, consider hitting the like and the subscribe button as this helps the channel to grow. And also hit that bell if you want to be notified when I do post new content uh, such as this. So 
uh, thank you guys once again for watching and I hope to see you at the next video. But until then, take care for now.